Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about some single parent romances. <laughs> Now, I absolutely adore single parent romances because I love kids. I am a nanny. 90% of the jobs that I've had throughout my life, I've dealt with kids and I'm going to become a elementary school teacher. So I love kids a lot. I love single parent romances. So I have some recommendations for y'all today. The first one that I have is Sweet Temptation by Cora Riley. This is actually a mafia romance as well. And it is an arranged marriage romance and it's age gap. <laughs> so it falls into a lot of categories here. Cassio is this big mafia boss. You don't know why, but his wife has died. When she dies, he is the sole parent to their two children. The boy, who I believe is maybe two or three, and then his daughter, who is six months old. His family is encouraging him to find a new wife to be their, the kid's mother. He gets put in an arranged marriage with another mafia boss's daughter named Juliana, and she has actually just turned 18, and he is maybe like, 30 something i don't remember they get an arranged marriage and they have a romance together and it is so good but i really just loved the way that she kind of embraced motherhood even though she was 18 and knew nothing about kids she really embraced motherhood and really embraced taking care of these children even though her now husband uh literally wanted like nothing to do with her he was like just be my children's mom i don't want anything to do with you it's kind of like a a dislike to love he doesn't want a romantic connection with anyone ever again i really recommend this one i really loved it next we have when you're ready by jl berg this is actually jl berg's i believe first book she's ever written and i enjoy this one so much as well so this book is about claire and her husband ethan passed away because of cancer or a brain tumor i'm not 100 percent sure and when he dies she has to take care of their daughter all on her own and this book starts out with her daughter who's I believe four or five getting sick one night and just profusely throwing up and her having to take her to the ER because she can't like fix her like like she doesn't know what to do and so she takes her to the ER and there she meets a doctor and his name is Logan and he just got out of a failed marriage and they meet and sparks fly and I absolutely adore this because he Oh my god, he loved her and he also loved her daughter and it was so good, <laughs> so good. I absolutely adored this book and I've just been loving J.L. Berg's books and I can't wait to continue on with the series because I believe it's a series and I don't know if all the rest are single parent romances but I really did love the single parent romance and how much he embraced Claire's daughter and like their whole family in general. Next is one that's like the single parent isn't really like the focus of the book and that's Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling. So this is an age gap romance between the president of a motorcycle club named Zeus and his relationship with a girl who's 19 years younger than him. I think it's 19 years younger. Um, her name's Lou. They meet because he saved her life when she was seven years old during a like shootout that she was just in the middle of. But by doing so, he ended up killing somebody so he gets sent to jail and while he's in jail they end up being pen pals kind of once he gets out of jail they kind of meet up again zeus is a father he has a son who was the main character in the first book in this series that i haven't read yet but really want to so he's older than our main character woman lou and he has a daughter who is in the same grade as lou so he's a single parent but that's not really a focus of the book but I thought that the dynamic between his kids being the same age as Lou was just like very interesting <laughs> obviously. Next I have Scandalous by LJ Shen. This is the third book in the Sinners of Saints series. You don't technically need to read these in order. I did. I kind of got the most out of my reading experience with it but this series isn't actually my favorite. I believe I only gave this book three stars but I feel like other people would love it. This man he is 33. can't remember his name at the moment but he has a little daughter and his wife left him and his daughter. Our main character woman is 18 so it's another <laughs> age gap romance and apparently like he is an enemy to her dad like they're business enemies maybe. I think one day they meet and his daughter just like becomes like enthralled by her and like loves her. It's like their dynamic and how they shouldn't be together because of who her father is, who he is, and their age difference. So 
It was a very interesting book for me. It wasn't necessarily my favorite, but I feel like other people would love it. Next, I have an LGBTQIA plus representation romance book, and it is also a historical romance. We have It Takes Two to Tumble by Cat Sebastian. This is actually the first book in the Seducing the Sedwicks series, which I have not read any more in the series, but I really want to. I always pitch this book as a gay version of The Sound of Music. <laughs> um, so basically, this is about a vicar and a Navy captain, and the Navy captain is... Uh, the father to three children and they're very much known for causing a ruckus in the town that they live in and so while the hit their father is away at sea their mother has died a couple years ago actually while their father is at sea so ben the vicar decides to go and take care of these kids then their father comes back captain philip they end up having a romance together even though it's obviously forbidden because of the time period that this is set in it was actually so sweet this is basically the sound of music without like <laughs> the nazis <laughs> or music <laughs> that's so bad but yeah it was really cute really sweet i really enjoy this one next we have eleanor and gray by Brittany c cherry i absolutely adore this one this is also a nanny romance eleanor and gray were actually friends back in high school and they had huge a huge crush on each other he was kind of like the popular guy and she was the quiet shy nerdy girl and they ended up just becoming friends but then something very tragic happens in eleanor's life to where her and her father have to end up moving across the country. They don't really speak anymore after that, unfortunately. And this takes place years later. Gray's wife ended up recently passing away and he is the sole caretaker of their two daughters. He has become very jaded and standoffish and abrasive ever since his wife's death. And then Eleanor becomes a nanny for him without realizing that it's Gray. So it is their romance. It is absolutely like beautiful and heartbreaking and just like amazing. Eleanor was just like amazing. She really broke down Gray's walls and really got to know these kids. I loved it so much. I recommend this book till the day I die. It is absolutely fantastic. Okay, it is shout out time. I try and shout out at least one person in every video that I do. So let's see who today's shout out is going to be. It's going to be this one. And this one is... <laughs> it's Catherine Cassidy. I love her so much. <laughs> like after one of her first videos she ever made, she ended up like blowing up on booktube, which is amazing. I love her. I love her content and it is so well deserved. She makes a lot of romance recommendation videos and they are so good. I learned about books I've never even heard about before from her that are just amazing. I love her Instagram stories because she just got a cat and he is so stinking cute. I love her. I love her taste in books so very much. If you love romance, please go check her out. I absolutely adore her. Next, I have Rafe, a buff male nanny by Rebecca Weatherspoon. This is another nanny romance, but in this case, the man is the nanny. So this book is about Rafe and Sloane, and Sloane is the mother to two little girls. She is the sole parent because um, her ex-husband is literally a douche canoe kind of man. Like he is horrible. One day she comes home from work to her kids being home alone and their nanny just up and quit and like left them home alone. She is like so upset and doesn't know what to do and then Rafe is actually known for being a nanny to kids. He loves doing it and so um, I don't remember how he gets the job but he ends up getting the job and right when he sees Sloan he knows he is so attracted to her and Sloan is very attracted to him as well. They end up telling each other at the beginning which is very unique in a romance book, um, that they find each other very attractive and what are they gonna do about it? I absolutely loved this. Like Rafe is such like a big teddy bear and I loved the way he like took care of Sloane's children. Like whew, it was so swoon worthy. I absolutely love male nanny romances. If you have any more, please leave them down below because I'm looking for more male nanny romances because I love nanny romances and male nanny romances just make me swoon. <laughs> so this is another single parent romance that was just like so awesome. I loved it so much. Next I have two books in the Elements series by Brittany C. Cherry. I've only read two of them, number one and number four. First one is The Air He Breathes. So this woman is a single mother because her husband ended up passing away from a car crash about a year ago. She basically left their 
house that all three of them lived in and went to stay at her mother's for the past year because she didn't want to live in that house anymore but that year has been up she decided to go back and when she moves back she has a new neighbor next door named Tristan and he is known as the town like bully and like monster now he has his own trauma that he went through in about a year ago with his own family where he lost his wife and his son both of them ended up passing away last year he is dealing with grief and the only way he has like dealt with it is by being cruel to people and so they end up kind of becoming friends but not really because he doesn't want a friend the main character woman's daughter is absolutely so sweet her relationship with tristan is absolutely so hilarious um because i think like the first time they meet the main character woman accidentally like runs over his dog because it's like pitch black and raining outside and like she didn't see him she didn't see the dog and so she takes tristan to the vet he won't thank her at all he's just being rude to her she ends up calling him a not so nice word that rhymes with tick and so the daughter overhears and goes what's that and she goes oh no 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 i called him tick not the other word and she's like oh okay and so throughout the whole book she calls this man tick <laughs> So uh, I actually love her. She was really really cute. And then the other book in the series that I have also read that is also a single parent romance is The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry. So this book is about Graham. His daughter was just born premature. When she is born a couple weeks later his wife leaves them doesn't want anything to do with them anymore. I don't want to spoil who this woman is that's the love interest but she ends up coming to help him raise his daughter with him basically because he doesn't know what to do and he is also very abrasive and standoffish because of what he has gone through in his past. So this one also deals with heavy topics. This book made me sob. I loved it a lot. Next we have Untouchable by Talia Hibbert, the second book in the Ravenwood series. I love this series so stinking much. This is also a nanny romance. This is also a childhood crush romance. So Hannah had a huge crush on Nate when they were kids and Nate had a huge crush on Hannah when they were kids. Like he ended up moving away and he ended up marrying um, his wife, but she ended up passing away. And he now has two kids, a boy and a girl. And he moves back to his hometown where Hannah lives. She is actually a nanny, has been looking for a nanny position for a while. And so he hires her as the nanny to his kids. And it is their romance together. I loved this one. I think it might be my favorite one in this series. Next we have A Nordic King by Karina Halley, the third book in the Nordic Royals series. This is also a nanny romance. There's kind of a trend here with single parent romances and nanny romances. This is about a king, the king of Norway, and he is recently a widow and he has two little daughters and he decides to hire a nanny. But then when our main character woman comes in to the interview, he sees her and immediately declines her because he is so attracted to her and he doesn't want to feel that way about his nanny. But then his daughters end up meeting her and absolutely end up falling in love with her. And so he has to hire her because his daughters love her. He doesn't want to get close to her at all. He doesn't want a relationship. He does not want to feel love anymore in a romantic sense. And so uh, he, he keeps her at a distance for sure. They're out of the book, they can't help but fall for each other. It is so good. I found these girls to be so cute. Their relationship was like slow burn, amazing, like another great single parent romance for sure. Next I have Intertwined Hearts by Kimmy Flores. Now this is more of a like sweet romance if you're not into the very steamy ones. This one's a very sweet little romance that I really enjoyed. This is about Caleb and he has a daughter who is in kindergarten and on their first day of kindergarten he meets Abby who is his daughter's kindergarten teacher. His daughter really wants her teacher and her dad to get together. So um, it's just a sweet little romance where the daughter really wants her dad and her teacher to get together. And it is so stinking sweet. The series is not really talked about all that much, but I enjoyed almost all the books in the series. They got either three or more stars from me. And the last book that I have on this list is Hide Your Heart by Tracy Alvarez, the first book in the Bounty Bay series. This book is about Alexandra Knight, who is a single mother uh, to a little boy, but her real name is Lauren Taylor. She had to move to New Zealand to escape her abusive husband. And she was also a, I believe, model um, back in her like previous life that she was in. Um, so she escapes to New Zealand to escape the limelight, get away from an abusive ex, and just like live a quiet, normal life in New Zealand. Next door, Nate Fraser, who is a photojournalist, ends up purchasing the house next door to her and plans to fix it up 
and have it become a celebrity retreat house and so she is not for that at all because someone is going to recognize her so it's like their dynamic with lauren trying to convince him not to make this house a celebrity retreat house without like explaining who she really is because she doesn't want anyone to know who she really is but then they end up falling for each other through the midst of that no one talks about this book and i read this book like two years ago or more and it's still like present in my mind i still think about it sometimes so i really recommend this book and it is a great single parent romance but anyways there you have it those are some single parent romance recommendations for y'all i hope y'all enjoyed the video let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye